Hey y'all, hey my favorites. So, I have not talked to y'all in a while. I hate to keep saying that, but I haven't. So, I'm just coming back home. <sighs> Went and celebrated my brother's birthday. I didn't do anything for my birthday. I actually had to work, so. Didn't do anything. Still trying to decide if I'm gonna do a makeup birthday. <sighs> I was like, dang, I have not talked to y'all because I have been running. You hear me? Running, running, running. So, I started putting up the Christmas tree and I wanted to put it up with y'all. So I'm probably gonna decorate the Christmas tree with y'all real quick. I'm trying to clean up. Decorate the Christmas tree with y'all and then actually first I'll probably insert some clips of what all happened. Like some of the stuff that happened today. Went to a Korean barbecue place. Y'all, I realize I do not labor for food. If I have to labor for the money, I'm not going to labor for the food. <laughs> not me. My hand's probably ashy. Not me. Um, I think I'm still hungry because the food was taking so long to cook. And I just feel like when you go to a restaurant, my mind says I'm at a restaurant. So once the food is there, it's time to eat. And I had to wait for the food and I was just like... And then like for the shrimp, I literally had to like take the head off, take the shell off, divine it. I was like... Yeah, no. So, <laughs> yeah, that wasn't working. It wasn't working for me. So, I think I'm still kind of hungry. Yeah, let's get to it. I probably look crazy and tired. I'm going to go ahead and go into montage mode. We're going to decorate this tree. done with that i started opening up some packages but i guess i'll share it with y'all but i got sephora shop the sale actually no this wasn't on sale but i should have gotten it um they had fenty beauty got a re-up on my um what's this mocha mommy bronzer because i almost hit pan on that one this was that horse lab Hoss labs i don't even know how to say it. lady gaga's line baby when i say I got this. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to keep it, but I swatched it in the store and it was so nice. Look at this. Talk about a bronzer for chocolate skin. Is this a bronzer? Yeah, it's a bronzonite. But you know how people be like, oh, I want to put body shimmer on. Look how nice that looks. Let me just take this light off. I don't know if y'all can see that. Probably can't. Dang. You can't I don't know if y'all can see that but it literally looks like my skin color but with shimmer instead of having to put you know shimmer on your body that's for the other people and that's all I got from Sephora then I ended up picking up because this was on sale and I have been eyeing this I feel like this light is too close hold up let me back you up I ended up picking this up which was the t3 um curling one y'all know if y'all know y'all know this thing right here ranges it normally retails for like 300 something dollars it was 50 percent off and then i got the warranty which i don't know i think i got suckered into that but i'm excited to try it <laughs> it's so pretty so you have the main base part and i can actually switch out all three curling irons and i think what are the sizes i think it was a Okay, I got the one inch barrel, the one and one fourth, and the one and one half. So I can do pretty much those three curls. So I picked that up. Then I got a phone charger. So I'm planning on getting the 14 Pro Max. I just need to have some time to sit down and go get it. I've literally been that busy. Um, so I got this case from Amazon. 
it's just a cute nude and I like that it had the barrels on it. I actually ordered the same case, but it doesn't have this part right here. It's just a regular square for um, on there. It's actually right here. I'm gonna send that one back because I ordered that one and literally scrolled down two more seconds and saw this one. So, you know, we're gonna manifest a 14 Pro Max, you know, start small, they say. I don't know. I picked up a dress from Rat and Boa. I wanted to wear for my birthday. So yeah, I didn't do anything for my birthday. Didn't even blow out any candles. So let me see. This is how the Rat and Boa packaging came. Has a little logo on it, which is cool and cute, but I just, I don't know. I expected a little bit more because this dress wasn't cheap. I think they did not do any sales <laughs> whatsoever for Black Friday, but they had on their website, like, you know, sign up for their little list. Comes in this packaging. This is cute, I guess. And I was like, okay. So I got a green dress from them. I'm so excited for it. I wanted to wear it for my birthday, but clearly it just came today. And I didn't do anything for my birthday, so it's all good. But I will show y'all later on, but this is the print of it. Ooh. Too cute, right? Yeah. I don't feel like going through all of this stuff for real, for real. I just wanted to show y'all. Then I did get a present for my brother, which um, I don't know how he knew, but I got this little, um, it's a concrete, I don't know if y'all can see that, concrete. There we go. Coffee table fire pit. So I'm actually excited about this because this one of the things I had in my like favorites thing on Amazon and I guess he saw it. Uh-uh, this one looked dirty. What's going on? That's the brand. I don't know if y'all can see the brand, but it looks a little dirty. Oh no. It's probably from that. But it's a concrete fire pit and you can put it on your table. So that's hella cute. Of course, y'all are gonna see that when I actually put it up. So, but I'm exhausted. That's why I'm like literally just checking everything that I have. But I'm honestly exhausted. So, <laughs> your girl's gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna check in with y'all later. I know I'm supposed to be doing a little dibble dow on Houston. So, hopefully, I'll take y'all around with me when I go to Houston. And I'm only gonna be there for like a day. And then I'm coming back. So, I'll check with y'all later. Toodles. <sighs> gotta talk quick so made it to houston i am staying at the galleria no where am i staying at marquis <laughs> i'm made it to houston staying at the marriott marquis um and i'm gonna run over to the galleria it is literally like why is this dude filming me like so if i go like this and film him he'll probably be upset but i just made it to um, what's it called? Y'all just lost my whole train of thought. Anyways, made it to Houston. Gonna go do a little shopping because sis wants to just go buy something. So I'm gonna head on over there. I've been, I'm kind of annoyed because I plan on being out so much earlier. And I ended up not being out that early because I had to make so many phone calls. And people just <laughs> wasn't trying to handle their job. But... It's now, let's see, 3, 35. So it's not horribly late, but I did want to be out a little bit early because it's like half the day. Gonna go get me something to eat, get me a hookah and chill. And I try to take y'all along with me to like the stores and stuff that I go to. Cause I've heard so much about the gallery, yeah. So let's go. Mm -mm. <laughs> show you 
what this little rat and bow dress looked like. Super cute. It just barely, it's a little snug right here on the booty. Thank God for this belt to snatch it. But loving it. Look how big the sleeves are. Like the sleeves are so big. It's crazy. Yeah. This is the dress. Scissors. I don't have the right bra on right now, but see the print on it. It's definitely giving a little number. Ugh. <laughs> so big. It's like these big old dramatic freaking sleeves. Ooh, I love it. All right. This is one of those other outfits, y'all hot. This is one of those other outfits. So I thought I ordered these leggings in this dark green color and it was supposed to be a set. Apparently, I got them in black. They fit great. Like, <laughs> doing the booty good. But <laughs> I thought I was gonna hold like monochromatic moments. And yeah. <sighs> well, and then I even looked at the picture. So definitely need these. And I'm glad I went ahead and sized up because it says kind of size up. I got an extra large. <laughs> And we are in charge. Loving it. Okay, so I guess this is everything I think for the most part. Recently that came in. When I tell y'all Black Friday, people have been on it. <laughs> and I'm not mad at it. But um, just gonna head out, seeing all these. I thought I'd show y'all real quick. Went to Ulta. Well, I didn't go. I was online. This is part of Black Friday stuff. Ulta, I re-upped on the um Salicylic acid treatment from the Ray Pelje. I actually really like this. I got this. I'm just gonna focus. I got that. Um, I actually got it from like that influencer box and really liked it. My skin's been loving it. Picked up a Kiko lip hydrator. I wanted this like nice. Y'all see that color? Don't mind my hands. They little. Eh. She. When I say I wash my hands a lot, I wash my hands a lot, so I'm constantly having to moisturize them. But Kiko Hydra Lip Gloss 3D in 20. Number. Is that right? And then everyone kept talking about this snail. You see this little snail thingy. So I picked that up. Um, they had a really good sale because all of this literally ran me. Some small like forty dollars, which should have been, but they had like two dis. Okay, oh uh, uh, this thing hard to get into. They had like two sales, sale on top of a sale. But this is what it looks like. I know y'all probably seen it everywhere, so we're gonna try it out. Pray to God I'm not allergic, cause some people were saying that they was allergic to it and actually made them break out. I don't have no pimples, so baby, if I break out, I know what it is. Then this is from. Who is this from? Ricky Brazil! So my Ricky Brazil dress is in. Oh, I just messed up my whole nail. Wow. What was that for me? This is what it looks like. Ricky Brazil. And then take it out. Okay, y'all doing it. We got the little bow. And a little wrapping. And I picked up a dress i probably just insert that also let's open it oh it has a cute little card okay okay they like my rat and bow dress is cute but we're gonna say okay it's the it's, it's my receipt okay so i can appreciate that i got this in a size eight twinkie it's the country club mini knit wrap dress um i saw it and i was like this is cute. Now they had 30% off, 35% off on, uh, let me make sure my hands are clean. This is like cream. This looks so nice and thick. Y'all, the quality, the quality, it's heavy. It's like two-toned. It's like a buttercream, <laughs> buttercream color. Crock skin, buttercream, buttercream, crock skin, buttercream. What size is there we go. And white. Ah, oh, this feels nice. I will say, this feels so nice. Oh, and it's like 
you know, short sleeves. Has the buttercream again on the sleeves. <laughs> you know, it's a little. Yes, and then it has like a little tie. This feels like a thick grandma sweater. Oh, I'm excited. I'm really excited to try that on. Actually, very, so far, very pleased. I got it in an eight, um, size eight. Pray for me. <laughs> that fits. But yeah, I'm so, I don't need this. I actually hate that packaging. I wish they would have just swapped it in, you know, like this packaging. But. I'm excited. I'm gonna put it back in there so I don't mess it up. But today is celebration day. So we're gonna go celebrate my boo. And we're gonna go take her behind out. Take her out. And if anything else comes in, I'll let y'all know. I like my hair. I redid it myself. Let's not do the hands because we asked. Uh, she had some lotion. Let's put some lotion on. But so what's happened? Ooh, that looked like a pack of cigarettes. Um, went to Houston. Barely got to film anything in Houston. I thought I was being kidnapped or trafficked, whatever you want to call it. Oh, let me not say the S word. I thought I was being kidnapped or say trafficked. You know, um. The Uber driver was very, very weird and awkward. He never once looked at me, didn't verify who I was. Um, for a minute, we were going the wrong direction. Um, I'm gonna put a screenshot up somewhere in here, show y'all Lyft even sent me a notice saying, hey, is everything okay? We noticed you're not going in your direction. That made me even more nervous. So I was on the phone with one of my friends and I kept telling her like, yeah, girl, I'm gonna pull up at the mall, hit, you know, making it seem like she was there. She was really in another state. But, you know, and I was like, oh, I'm going to send you my Lyft tracker. I said that out loud and start saying things and miraculously we start going in the right direction. Um, like in my gut from the moment I entered, I just did not feel good. Ladies, if you do not like trust your instincts, OK, if you feel something inside and you don't feel like it's right, you know, be proactive. You you got to save yourself. It's, it's 2020. Two, you have to save yourself. I just did not feel good. Now, thank God I was on the phone with her. And I started putting her on because I texted her because she was like, why are you kind of short? But I was kind of like so focused <laughs> on what he was doing and where we was going. And when I get in ride share services, I put up my map quest. So I put up my maps to see where we're going. So I know if we're going the wrong direction. That's why I knew immediately. And I was like, okay, he's going to turn. He's going to turn. He never turned. So... <laughs> Needless to say, when I was on the phone with her, I wasn't really talking. I was just kind of sure, like, mm hmm, okay, yeah. Mm. And she was like, what's going on? So I texted her and told her, I don't feel comfortable. I feel like something's up with my, my, my Lyft driver and um, I'm scared. <laughs> so, but I made it to the mall. <laughs> but yeah, so I made it to the mall, safe and sound. Everything worked out, but just, you know, pay attention when you're on the phone. Be proactive, because I don't play them games. So I went to Burberry. Um, everything that I wanted, they did not have at the mall, surprisingly, which was kind of annoying. But I went to Galleria, and I got this little Burberry scarf. I just thought it was so cute. Simple. I like classic pieces, especially for my designer items. You're spending a lot of money on it. I want it to be timeless. You'd never know. Like, I feel like I can wear this for 20 years, and you wouldn't know. That I got it 20 years ago. Something simple can go around my neck, you know, a little witch away, something or whatever. It can go around my purse, it can go around my head. Well, actually, it's kind of cute. No, <laughs> I go around my head. Um, so I just picked that up. I picked up some gifts, but yeah, that's kind of everything I got. I really wanted a red chanel bag they did not have the style that i wanted i wanted caviar they only had lamb skin at first when i got there i felt like i was striking out on everything everything i wanted nobody had but you know we got little steals i got that scarf i got this and i'm happy very very happy so let's go on about the day guys i already told y'all i'm just i'm trying to decide i don't want to wear these i feel very much so like grease these Bottegas or 
So I'm gonna wear these Chanel boots with them. I'm gonna carry my Chanel bag, but I don't know. I kind of like the toes out, but it has this little emblem. I wonder if I should stick with these. Don't mind my toes, they a little easy. But I don't know, and then I'm gonna carry my jumbo Chanel bag. And that's the day. Yes, this is cute. I feel very much so like um the girl from Scooby Doo though. Looking like a damn football team. All in the same thing. All repping one thing. Looking for revenge. To do what you couldn't do. Tell Obama that my verses are just like the whips of the end. They bulletproof. Minus 20, we in Pittsfield. That case kitchen in a Canada goose. Famous as fuck, but I'm still in the cut when they round up the truce. I'm just a sicko, a real sicko when you get to know me, nigga. All right, y'all, so I had to rush and get ready. My friends are taking me out for my birthday, so I didn't do anything. So we're going somewhere. I don't really know, but they told me to just kind of casual, which I'm excited about. So I didn't even show y'all what I have on, but this is what I have on. Doo -doo. So Louis Vuitton um, shoes. All my jewelry's tucked underneath my shirt because I hurry up and got ready, but this is a face. I just want to show y'all. Let's go. Uh, we had to make a stop, and so we was going to take some pictures. <laughs> So I'm finna pick y'all up because I don't want no problems. But then uh, I'm not driving. Let me go on over here. I'm not finna drive. So yes, it's gonna be a night. It's gonna be a night. It's gonna be a night. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a night. Super cute. I'll edit it. Oh, that's cute. Super cute, right? Y'all see the photos we just did impromptu at the doggone Publix. Come on, come on, Publix, good job. Had to use my headlights. Okay, back in the car. I'm excited. Huh? What happened? Like a damn football team, all in the same thing, all repping one thing, looking for revenge. To do what you couldn't do. Tell Obama that my boy is just like a Y'all know how Atlanta would be, and there's always an issue with a boot. Oh, my messy belt on. You but, my brother right here. Anyways, so we parked in a parking lot. Well, we didn't. One of one oh, of the people who came out that. to surprise me parked in a parking lot, literally right across from the place, right? Of course, got a boot. Literally was in, walked in to say, hey, I'm here with this party, and they told her, like, you know, we don't have alcohol, so you have to get alcohol across the street, so she walked right back out already a boot on her car the girl even said she was watching her walk out is that music yeah i'm sorry girl even said she was watching her walk out why she didn't damage the doggone car like miss super booter then effed up the doggone um brakes what's it called what did she mess up brake pads and rotors the ba brake pads and rotors so we're going back and forth the whole time we've been here finally police came and they had to jack her car up in order to get it off. To get, where do you know that you have to take the dog, you have to jack up the car in order to take the boot off? Yeah. So, finally got that off. That's all good. But they charged her $75 and then $150 after that, which is ridiculous. So, she has to dispute it now in order to get the money. She's trying to take that off. Let me save this. Has to. <sighs> this thing has been on the whole time, so she has to dispute both charges. But ain't that some BS? Then they even told her to move the car. You're not supposed to move the car with a freaking um, boot on. 
When you come to Atlanta, just Uber. Just go, just Uber. Because the BS, you need help? Because of the BS they push you through? Hmm. Yeah. And then the girl had the nerve to be cocky with it. Like, sis, you need to be a little bit more apologetic. So I went off on her. And I told her she needed to be fired. Don't care. Yes, you do. Hmm. And my hair is all the way. That's why y'all see my hair is like through. Because I was outside and it was misty raining. Because you're not going to do her like that. Not while I'm here. <laughs> hey, my babies. So I'm finally back home. And I'm tired. When I said I'm tired, I'm like that two hours past sleep. So... I'm just tired. That's all. I got another gift for my birthday. We got the big yellow bag. Let's see what is. Oh, y'all, y'all seen the tree, right? Yeah, this is the tree. Let's see. Y'all, I didn't hurt my freaking nails trying to catch my friend from falling. My nails hurt. Okay. But let's see. Jeez. <clears throat> What's in the bag? This is a big old box. Like, baby, you see how big this box is? You see my little head? And you see the box? It's the size of my whole body. What's inside? <laughs> I look like a garment. Hey, Fendi do a real nice. Fendi does that real nice. Oh, something in my eye. Ah, it's my poncho. Yes, honey. <laughs> Loving it. Come on, come on out. Come on out. Let's get hung up tonight. <laughs> Y'all see this? Now I just need to go to Aspen. <laughs> so I can wear it like a little snow bunny. Let me see if I can show y'all without showing y'all too much. Because I literally just have a big shirt on. And I was like, let me just open this right now. Before I go to sleep and take this makeup off. Because y'all know how I do. I'll take this off. Hold tight. Let me, okay. Bougie hanger. It's velvet. It's velvet. Let's see. <laughs> now I feel like Marlo. Today really drained me. <laughs> Make sure y'all can't see no goodies. Can y'all see me? exactly how I talk. I'm going to just do this. Instead of telling someone to shut up, I'm just be like just turn around. <laughs> but how's thinking cute? Definitely has some weight on her too, honey. Definitely got some weight. She heavy. And she's warm. Mm-hmm. But I had a good time tonight. Aside from the little chabacos here and there. Had a good time. I don't feel like I'm gonna be sore. We're gonna see tomorrow. I'll let y'all know. Axe throwing was a lot of fun. It does take some concentration. Like you legit have to kind of focus. <laughs> and there's a little bit of a technique to it. So I like it. I will go back again. I have hiccups, sorry. But yeah, I'm gonna take off my makeup and I'm gonna see what tomorrow brings i know i have a video going up tomorrow and then church in so let's be going somewhere else and we'll see well you guys will see when i find out so good night